Clothes can tell you a lot about the person who wore them. Think about your wardrobe. What do your clothes say about you? Could someone figure out where you live, your favourite colour, your school, your name or anything else about you by looking at them? Looking at clothes from the past can tell us about a person's age and size, whether they were rich or poor, their personal taste and what was in style back then. Unfortunately, in many cases, it's hard to tell what clothes in the past look like because the natural fibres they're made from rot away before archaeologists can find them. Fabric sometimes survives in very special conditions, in very dry environments or in very wet ones, like a book. The dry desert air helped preserve the tarkin dress, which was found in an ancient Egyptian tomb. Made over 5,000 years ago, it's the world's oldest woven garment. The size of the dress suggests that it was worn by a small teenager or a young woman. When archaeologists aren't so lucky and no fabrics are preserved, they have to get creative. We look at the clothing shown in works of art, like paintings and sculptures. Our ideas about how people dressed in ancient Greece come from studying statues and images of people painted on pottery. The most common outfit for Greek men and women was a tunic called a chiton. Women also wore a longer style of tunic or dress called a peplos. In the winter, people wore chitons made of wool. In the summer, they switched to linen or silk if they were rich. These light, loose tunics made the hot summers in Greece a little more bearable. Let's make our own. You will need one big piece of cloth, ideally a few inches taller than you and as wide as you can reach your arms. Chitons are made from one big square of cloth, wrapped and pinned around you. A rope or belt. You will also need two large brooches or pins. The ancient Greeks would show off their wealth, status and fashion sense by wearing fancy brooches. Finally, you'll probably need a friend or family member to help you get dressed. Ta-da! Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more fun DIY videos and to keep up to date with the development of the Institute of Archaeology's WAF Festival.